Hi everybody, um, I'm here today with a really cool DIY Pinterest tutorial. Um, it's actually a milk jug lunchbox and I'm going to be rating um, on two things and the first one is going to be the difficulty of this project and the second one is going to be the outcome of it and how it all turns out. Um, it's saying that it's pretty easy, um, but you know, sometimes things don't really turn out the way that it's supposed to. Um, but let's try it. Here we go. You'll need one milk jug a black marker, a rubber band, needle and thread, a button, and a pair of scissors. Okay, so step one. Rinse out the milk jug and peel off the label. If any residue remains, run it under hot water and scrub away with the dish sponge. I tried that. Didn't work. If anything, it made it more sticky, and I think it's to do with this particular label, because this is a generic brand of best yet milk. Oh. Okay, so after that, to, to create the flaps, use a marker to draw four half circles, one on each side of the jug. Make one side as tall as possible to create the lid. So, actually, my friend helped me figure this out. So you go half, half circle here, and this is the lid, so you gotta go up, and you go around, Oh, wait, sorry, can't see it. I have to do this on my own. Here. Oh, God. That's not turning out the way I want it. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> and then you make the half circle again. And then you make the half circle uh, again until it reaches right there. No. Okay, so that's, that's it. Whee! Number three, cut along the inside of the lines and discard the remaining pieces. So, it says you need scissors, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it with scissors. So, we're going to do it the getaway. Nice. Oh, God. Okay, now I can use scissors. Now I can use this damn thing. Like, then I, like I said, I'm going to be rating of the difficulty of this project because it told me that it's supposed to be really easy to do. And so far, it hasn't been all that easy. <laughs> so, make me kiss my ass. It's not easy. Look at that. Don't tell me a child can do this, because a child cannot do this. Liars. Actually, no, that's not true. Because kids have small, tiny little fingers. They can probably get all up in there. <laughs> <laughs> and if this comes out like shit, not my fault. I got everything they told me needed, followed the instructions, and I don't think it's going to come out that great. But that's why I said this is a test of how good this Pinterest DIY tutorial comes out. I don't think it's going to come out all that way. Ah, it's always that last freaking piece. Okay, there we go. So this says, look at that, it doesn't even, this is as long as I could make it on the long part, and this is supposed to be the lid, and it doesn't even, it doesn't even close, like how is that, how is that a thing, that's not even, look at that. You didn't cut it to the right size. I did, it said to make this the lid part as long as possible. I followed the way they were drawing it on the milk jug. Now I cut it, and this is as long, as tall as it can be. 
on our milk jug. And it didn't it didn't work out. So we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna see if I can make my own. <laughs> Already Pinterest has failed. It says you can use any milk jug. This is a milk jug. And it didn't work out the way it's supposed to go. I'm gonna keep on going. Now I don't think this is gonna work all that much. See, look, look at that. It doesn't even work. It doesn't work. And if you guys like, if you guys don't believe me, you can go on Pinterest. It is by. Hold on a minute. It is by the Idea King on Pinterest and they have a lot of they have a lot of um, DIYs on here and I see no comments on it so what about what mom my mom's what about that right there that won't work that's too thick of a jug um. can't do that but yeah as you can see this is the part of the jug that was drawn as the lid on the picture but it definitely isn't long enough I couldn't have gone anymore because it would have just folded it's not even long enough actually you know what it's I think it's my bad maybe I guess I could have made it a lot thicker. Yeah. I could have made the lid a lot thicker around it so it would have covered the thing. But mm -hmm. I would have to rate this Pinterest DIY a two for difficulty or or no difficulty no. Difficulty is gonna be like a nine because it doesn't get it the instructions there's no specific instructions on it. You're supposed to guess, guess, figure it out yourself. It's stupid. It's stupid. And the outcome, of course, was Fail. a zero. Failure. Fail. Failure. And look, I got everything. I had everything ready, too. I had the thread. I had the needle. I had a really nice button. I got the rubber band that they wanted me to use. And the milk jug. I didn't even, I didn't even get that far. So, fail. You can see it didn't come out like the way I wanted it to. I got really frustrated. Um, I had to rate it a 10 for difficulty. One, because the instructions weren't specific enough to follow. Um, I don't even think a child could do it. I feel like I could have done it on my own, like in my own um, pattern. Um, but I did follow the instructions. The milk jug I had, it did look the same as the one they were using, but it didn't say to use a specific milk jug. It just said a milk jug, and that's what I had. The, as you saw in the video, the tall part of the milk jug, um, of the, the milk jug that I was supposed to use for a lid, wasn't long enough. And I understand that wasn't the problem, it was the width of it, and... I, I know that I could have cut it a little bit wider to make it fit, but the milk jug I have is like, it's, it's very weird, like it doesn't go around, um, like smoothly, it's kind of like boxy, so I couldn't draw it or cut it out the way, I guess the way that they're, it's supposed to be. Um, and not only that, um, it says that you can use a scissor to, scissors to cut the jug, but I was kind of, as you saw, I was having a hard time starting it off with the scissors, so I had to use a knife to cut through. And actually, you didn't see it happen, but when I did use the knife to puncture it, it's like, it just slid down, it like kind of cut, oh, it cut away from my pattern that I drew on the milk jug. Um, other than that, I can't really tell you about the other steps because I didn't get that far. I only got through the first step. Oh, and also because the sticker 
on the milk jug, it said that it could come off easily with hot water and a sponge. And that didn't come out great. It made it really clumpy. It was hard for me to get off the sticker even then. And I don't know, maybe it's because of my milk jug sticker. I don't know, but it didn't turn out that great. And the outcome, of course, was failed. I failed miserably. Um, I'm most likely going to try it again, maybe with a different milk jug, um, and probably try to come up with my own pattern. The idea itself is really, really good. I, I like that. You know, reusing, recycle, it's, I'm all for it. But the next time I think I'm going to try it a little bit differently. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this failed video. And please comment and subscribe. Bye.